Okay. Hey, welcome to another video. You're watching Brandon Clark on Outdoors Unsupervised. So please um, hit that like button if you watch this video and you like it and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but what we're going to be making is a actual traditional authentic Philly cheesesteak. Um, you're going to see in comments that uh, people uh, are going to say that's not a Philly cheesesteak. That's probably people from Philly not trying to let you guys know this is the authentic way to do it um, as you saw in the intro we are going to be um, reviewing for the first time the bond stove from warm bond you can go to warmbond.com uh, or and check the descriptions and you'll see the links there as well but we're going to do that smokeless grill that you saw in the intro um, but we're going to be cooking this on there as well we're not just doing that i got to keep my figure um, i don't want to dwindle down to nothing so i gotta uh i gotta keep them calories up so i'm going to be doing this and half of this i'm going to take for a stealth camp i'm doing tonight that's going to come out in about another week week and a half um stealth camp number 25 at a retail store near you well outside of the retail store. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> what we have here is a one pot cast iron. So I have to simmer these in two, three different pots and clean everything. I have one pot here uh, that I am going to be uh, chopping up some up. Uh, mushrooms that are already diced but i'm gonna dice them up a little bit more um i have a purple onion this is not a red onion it, it looks purple it's purple um we have canadian bacon there's a story behind this um canadians actually say they don't call it canadian bacon but you know they're lying when the pack says it right here okay um there's a story behind it. You can research it all you want, but uh, the early 1900s, they had an underground pig smuggling um, facility. Um, Philadelphia was the only uh, state in the U.S. that they trusted. I'm not sure why, but uh, there are good people in Philly. You know, as you know, Notorious B.O.B. is in uh, Philly, uh, but they did trust them. So when they, when Philly actually made their authentic steak and cheese, or cheese steak, whatever you want to call it, um, they actually um, put the Canadian bacon in there in tribute to them, uh, thinking that they uh, that they won't tell anybody, which they did kind of. Um, but uh, I have bacon, pepperoni. Uh, salami we have our green bell pepper won't be a meal without that uh, we have the Velveeta cheese and that is actually the authentic cheese as well as the Miracle Whip uh, we're gonna get to it here in a second and one thing before I get started uh, I put the bacon and the onion in the freezer for 30 minutes before I cut them up because it makes it easier to cut um, and the onions uh, actually help you with the uh, crying um, if you have any um, thing going on in your life put this in the freezer for 30 minutes and it helps out a lot so let's get to it dice it up and then we'll go outside and get to cooking
Oh, and a disclaimer. Do not listen to any facts on pretty much all of my videos. <clears throat> I just like to have fun and I joke around a lot. So please, please, uh, don't do that. And I have the Canadian to go. Okay. It won't be, it won't be authentic without the Canadian. Let me do it after. Taste this. Taste Canadian. A little bland. A. Okay. Now, let's get to the veggies. Okay, we are ready to clean this area up and then head outside and uh, get this on the bond stove and see how um, the warm bond company's uh, smokeless stove works. See you out there. OK. 
Okay, all out here set up. You're gonna hear some chickens in the background. They're just right there in the backyard. Um, but uh, if you wanted to see me actually opening this, the unboxing of it, I did a live a couple of lives ago. So just go to my homepage, hit live, and you will see uh, this box with me doing something like this. Uh, but it comes with a, the, the carrying ropes right here that are really, really freaking strong because this actually probably weighs around 40 to 50 pounds. Uh, but I will get some of this out now, but they did package it up really nice. So please check that video out if you want to see how they package it up. I just put it back in the box. Um, they do have like four different um, uh, configurations of this. They have the, the mobile with the wheels on the bottom. Um, they have another grill pack where they have a, a dome that goes over the top to keep the, uh, the heat in. Um, and they have a couple more, but the basic one, I think this one runs $249. Uh, I think originally it's uh, $349. I think it's $100 off, uh, but it comes with a nice carrying case. Uh, so if you got ashes still in there and, and after it cools down, the, after, if you still got ashes in there, you can cover it up and this covers the whole thing up so the ashes don't get all over your, your uh, vehicle that you're carrying in and watch outside you can just put this on it so so it protects it from the environment um, they do have um, some rings uh, in here fire rings that you can uh, place in here you can buy these separate as well but I'm just going to use paper um, and uh, just light it like that um, they do have a deal here so you don't burn your nubs uh, so you can take the grate off and here is the, the grate. This is the pan at the very bottom, I think, to catch the ashes. Let me see what else is in here. Yep, and this is, it goes above that, so it lets even more air flow at the very bottom. So you just put that in there like so. And here are the non-mobile legs, but it keeps it off the ground to get, get even more air in here. So this actually is, uh, is double walled, it's insulated, double walled with the inside that has an open pocket from the bottom holes all the way up to the top holes. And that's how the heat comes up and makes it even hotter that uh, it shouldn't uh, smoke. So we'll see here in a minute. I'll get a close up of the inside and talk about that a little bit more. You got an Alex key. They gave you an Alex key with it. If you don't know what an Alex key looks like. Whoa, whoa. You don't know what an accident looks like. You're about to see it. But this is a Alex key. So please, please, please don't throw this away if you see this in the, uh, the package. go it's the main the main vein right here buddy Okay, here are the holes I was talking about on the inside. There's holes at the very bottom. And the double walls goes up to these holes. So the heat comes out like that. So let me put the legs on and I'll uh, put this together for you.
here's where the Alex key comes in handy. Um, I put the legs on and then I put this on, but you can do it either way you want. Um, you can read the black parts of the instructions, but these should be the four bolts. There go. I'm just going to snug them in there and then tighten them down. Okay, have this all complete, secured. You can put this in a safe place like in your junk drawer where you got the dog ball hair clippers and uh, slash uh, avocado pill uh, pillar. Okay. First of all, I'm going to put the the ash tray, ash tray, in. Goes in like so. Nothing to see here. And then, bam, right on top. Okay, simple as that. I'm going to put this together for you guys so you know what it looks like before um, I start this fire. It goes on like so. And then you got this handy dandy grill. It goes right on top. Okay? Put your fire rings in, you put your kennel in, and then magic happens. Uh, this right here, you can take the grate off like so, so you don't burn yourself. I, I really appreciate Warm Bond for putting this on this Bond stove. So uh, thank you very much for that. I probably will forget about this. Uh, you don't roast marshmallows with this, okay? You don't do hot dogs. You could, I guess, but it gets a little messy. Okay. And I'll put this on now to show you guys, and then we'll get to, we'll get to cook it. I'm gonna put the carrying case on now, but this strip goes on the bottom. It looks like a band-aid, like a butterfly band-aid. I know about those, just unsupervised. That's what your channel's about. You put the legs in between that. You nestle, nestle it just like so. And look at this, the top part is covered up so the ashes don't blow all over your vehicle or wherever you're carrying, and bam. Okay, there you go. Let me get the food and let's start to cook it. Okay, time for the moment of truth. I have my kindling down here, I have some logs. These logs are not the best logs at all, so I, hopefully they don't, they don't actually cause it to, to smoke. Um, I am gonna say disclaimer first, disclaimer, I'm using some um, free, kindling that Kroger provides in the front uh, front of the store. Um, Luna, Luna, the house chicken, uses it as well as a drop drop catch. Um, so it might smoke because of this. So after the first initial uh, startup, I have high hopes for this, uh, this deal. So get you, get you involved here. get some uh you can use the fire rings which pr pretty sure that's what you probably want to use um but i'm trying to save those for uh looking fancy in front of people that may want to gather around this one day don't mind the initial smoke as i said this is what this is something that I'm just doing to to be me. Plenty of airflow in here, I can tell you that. I'm just gonna go ahead and stack it full now.
put the grate on now so it could burn maybe some chemicals that might be on it. I'm not sure how they uh, do the chemicals on here. Uh, I'm going to put something underneath it because it's not on level ground. I'm going to put something underneath it to keep it to keep it more even when I cook. Okay, voila. Again, don't worry about the initial smoke. That's my doing. But it's getting airflow in there really good from the bottom being that far off the ground. The holes in the bottom of here and the holes up top. And again, while this starts, uh, please, uh, please look in the descriptions. Check the warm bond stoves out. They have uh, uh, varieties of them, um, different uh, tiers, I guess. Uh, you can do the, the uh, there's a glass deal that comes up where you can put the the dome on top of that glass as well but I, I I only had a couple pieces of paper in here and as you you can't tell right now but there is a flame already so I didn't have to rekindle this like a bad relationship As I sit here waiting for the fire to go, it's 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 coming up over the grill right now. Don't put your finger like that, like I do. Uh, but you don't want to sit here, um, and as you know, smoke follows beauty. Uh, you don't want to sit here crying the whole time. Not because you're ugly, you know, look at this. Um, smoke follows beauty, so it's always going to be in your face. Uh, so uh, that's why I actually was uh, compelled to do this review. Uh, they said smokeless, so once it gets hot, um, we're gonna see if this actually is true, okay? Maybe it's the wood. Maybe I got extra smoke wood. Maybe. Let's Give it a second, give it a second. It has to, it has, just like a relationship, you gotta kindle. You gotta kindle that stuff for it to get hot. Hot, steaming hot. That's another channel, folks. Okay, got a good flame going. Oh, it's getting good air, getting good air. Look at this, the smoke is decreasing. But it's still, it's in my face though, she said. Okay, as this, as this fire starts to go, um, I'm going to let it just go ahead and get smokeless a little bit later. But having all this muzzle and this physique, um, you just want to eat right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on, get this hot, and start getting the food going so we can better be more efficient and productive. Because um, i got things i got to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the meat on first so the meat can have all that good uh, meat sweat and love in uh, the bottom of this dish and then I'm going to put the veggies in. Make sure the camera is rolling. Don't do nothing stupid. Get it on the cake. Uh oh, I think the smoke is decreasing. Let that go for another five minutes and uh, stir it.
Okay, I was about to give up, but um, the uh, once the wood got hot enough, as I had uh, in theory said it would do, it actually the smoke has actually decreased. The smoke you're you're seeing right now, I think, is from the beeswax that I have on the the actual pan itself. But this is coming along really good. I have the bacon, the pepperoni, the salami, the Canadian bacon, um, the mushrooms, the purple onions, and the green bell peppers. This should be done here in another um, 10 minutes my time, about 10 seconds your time. We'll be back once it's finished and we will add the Velveeta cheese and the good old Miracle Whip to blend this all together and marry into one beautiful Philly cheesesteak. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, I think it is done. Look at this goodness. Oh yeah, look at that. Look, look at that. Yep, everything looks cooked. Everything was cooked, even the peppers. Okay, I'm going to get this plated up for you. Let me set this tripod up. Um, I have a stealth number 25 to do. Um, as I said earlier, it is a uh, at a retail store, maybe near you. But we'll see later, probably next week or the week after, but it will be Stealth 25, but Stealth 24 will be coming out before that, duh. Okay, I'm hungry, I can't even talk. I can't even think straight. Okay, got my authentic Philly cheesesteak. Uh, if you fast forward it, please rewind to see what all is in here. I took the pan off so it is a lot less smoky. You still see a little smoke, but it says smoke less. Not like smokeless. Smoke le it's smoking less. But I think it actually, I want to say it's probably the wood I put in here. I'm not sure what kind you're supposed to put in here, but I think this is not one of the woods you're supposed to actually burn. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, folks. You burn all kinds of wood, but this isn't the best to burn, okay? Okay, let's try it out. The hell is that? You didn't hear that? Okay. This is falling apart like a bad relationship. Mm. 
Okay, I'm interested in this as civilized as I, ooh, excuse me, as I can. But the star of the show is the the Bond Stone uh, right here. Um, it is made by Warm Bond. Uh, the company um, link is in descriptions. If you can't, just type warmbond.com up top. Just click the uh, link in descriptions and see how you can um, order one of these fine things. Uh, the wood. I got white stuff all over my mouth. Who cares, folks? Who cares? It's good. As you see right now, it's doing its job. So thank you very much, Warren Bond, for sending me this. Thank you very much for everyone that tuned in to check this video out. So uh, I do thank you for following the channel. If you're not following the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to see all, and you'll see all kind of videos. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot more stealth videos, a lot more in the woods videos of, uh, of a lot of different types of scenarios. Um, we're going to be doing a... Uh, survival season five if you don't know what the survival seasons are I have four of them already um, all the uh, videos are in the descriptions uh, if you miss one if you want to start them off in the first one the first one of the survival series all the way down you can go ahead and look in descriptions and do that uh, even if I if I do a food challenge on that trip it'll all be in the descriptions of everything I did on that trip um, but this is going to be probably a 220 mile bike ride not a motorcycle not an electric bike i did try to get with some companies to see if they can uh do a promotion with the electric bike but it's a no-go um but i'm going to be riding a hummer freaking heavy hummer mountain bike okay it's not a 10 speed titanium alloy superman planet nova nasa approved bike it's a freaking heavy going to the gym working out mountain bike uh, it's going to be a mountain bike with no mount well there's some big hills but about it's 180 mile by car uh but about 220 230 mile by bike it's going to be a 10 to 14 day trip if you want to sponsor like help uh help donate donate for the trip for for food uh for bike tires for stuff that might happen on the trip uh for items i might need like a helmet and such please uh look in descriptions i have I have uh, Venmo, Zelle, Cash App. That's the, the top three that's recommended. I do have PayPal if you if that's the only other possible scenario. Uh, but if you do donate, please put SS5 or Survival Season 5 in um, if you want to donate for that Survival Season so I can put you on the screen of all those videos. Um, if you want to donate for anything else, you just make sure you put in descriptions what it's for because I'm not going to know what it's for. Um, I do have a wish list as well uh, for stealth camping, for stealth uh, for street stealthers. So if I go places and do some stealth camping, I can give items away to some people call them homeless, airplaneless, uh, saunaless, jacuzziless. I don't know, but they they don't have a home, so they call them homeless. Um, but I like to say airplane lists or street stealthers. Um, so I can leave them um, cheap tents that you might have bought uh, off of Amazon to send me. Um, I might um, air mattresses, little $20 air mattresses or so. Uh, so I do try to help out as I'm going along uh, my merry way on the journeys and routes I've, I'm on. Uh, but again, all that's in descriptions and i've talked too long but i do thank you for listening to me babble i appreciate you you guys make the channel wasn't for you uh wouldn't be a channel so comment uh anything you want below um and i will um comment back accordingly so thank you very much and talk to you later i don't know why i did thumbs up but i had to do something something and one of some uh, authentic philly cheesesteak so if you want deer in your yard um go ahead and make an authentic philly cheesesteak hey can i talk to you can i talk to you i have some questions i have some questions do you know your insurance is about to expire Hey, hey, come back here. I still see you.
I gotta get my camera. <laughs> 